Hey guys, how are we doing? Today's a little bit of a different video. We're going to do a little unboxing. Um, let's keep this short. I was in York and I went into the uh, Banks music shop over there in the uh, city centre of York and I was having a look at the guitars. I wasn't really shopping and I came across a lovely guitar and I was like, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a beautiful guitar. Then I looked at the price and I was like, that can't be right. And the guitar I'm talking about today, I'm honestly not reading this, it's Fender CC60S. Mahogany Concert Acoustic in Natural. So what, what they're claiming with this guitar is that it's all mahogany. It's the neck, everything is mahogany and it's laminated with a mahogany strip of laminate and the price why well, I just so it I saw the guitar and I just and it bugged me it bugged me all I was like how what 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 is cheap why is this guitar so cheap so I decided to buy it and we're gonna unbox it unbox it today so let's go we've got it light first thing i will say it's very light um standard fender guitar it's three kilograms which is very light for a guitar that's a, the worrying sign so far i have thought which is you know light but you know the price I'm not going to knock it. The price. Leave in the comment below, comments your your estimates, guess guesses the price of this guitar. If you already know, don't comment. You know, but you always always want to. It's got no um, pickup inside it. What's this? Got something in here. I purchased this off GAK, G A K, um, mainly because they were the cheapest uh, one website which was selling it. What have they give me here? Fender Play, subscription to Fender Play, three months prepaid card. So I believe that's guitar lessons, music lessons on the Fender website. That's a freebie they've chucked in. That's good. I, I imagine that would have some worth to it. So let's get into it. Do I have to stand up for this? Or can we? I don't want to rip the box. Don't rip the box. Because we can reuse the packaging if we sell any guitars. Reuse the boxes. So it's come in a very standard box. Fragile, use no hooks. I'll not use no hooks. Let's just move this box out of the shop. Let's have a look, and this is where we find out it's a wrong guitar. Let's not destroy it. Let's open it nicely. So we're not for the price we paid. We're not expecting, you know, a hard case or anything like that. So we've got the guitar out. So there's nothing in here apart from the in inst manual instructions. Getting to know your Fender guitar, so it's just you know telling you all the bits and pieces, and changing the string. Just instructions, just in case you are, if the guitar is absolutely alien to you. There we go. Right. We're in the standard plastic foam packaging. Right, and here we go, guys. 
Come on off. Now, let's have a look at this. Just look. So we've got the, oh, banged it already. Let's have a look at the quality control on this. We've got some first thing we've noticed straight away is we've got paint, which might come off with some rubbing alcohol, maybe, or a wet baby wipe. But you've just got random scuffs of paint on there, like it's been knocked. Has the yeah, the pit guard's got a plastic. We've got a so you get your over the top, which I thought I would have to put a string through the top here. So let's take this off. Is this a day? Oh. It's a little bit, a uh, bit, little bit frightening. Um, warning: cancer and reproductive harm. What's gonna give me cancer? On the If anyone knows if that if anyone can see a date on that, probably when it's manufactured. Can we get this off without ripping it to pieces? Okay, we're off. How do we sound out the box? Untangled here. Oh yeah. Give this a tune. Okay, so we're all tuned up now. Kind of. These strings are taking some tuning. Is a little bit on the high side it's not the one in the shop had a little bit of a lower action uh, it's a little bit high for me here lovely here but it gets a little high there so that one may need adjusting yeah there's a lot of room but that might um, So the tuning pegs, just your standard, standard as it, as you can tell. So the pricing on this in the shop was one hundred and sixty nine pounds. I paid one hundred and fifty on the. Uh, I wish I'd just paid the extra money to be honest and just got that one in Europe because the action was a lot better. I'm hoping that I can just adjust this and um, everything will be fine the the bridge feels dry we're gonna we're gonna get some um, oil into that lemon oil or you know wood oil 
Yeah, we're going to do the same thing as well on the fretboard. That looks dry. That could look looks like it could do a little bit of moisture. Frets. I'm not perfect, but they're good. You know, for what you're paying, you've got to remember, guys, is what you're paying here. You're not going to be spending this amount of money and expecting, you know, a Gibson Hummingbird. You know, but this is a really good guitar for beginners. The reason, main reason I bought this guitar, it's, it's little and I can just pick it up. You know, my other guitar is a jumbo size guitar and it can get a little bit, you know, when you just want to play and you have to drag the big jumbo guitar out. This one's quite nice, kind of like a, a parlor size guitar. <laughs> Yeah, overall I'm happy, you know, considering the price range, you know, six, seven out of ten. Maybe higher than that, you know, these are just first impressions. You know, I'm not happy with a little bit of the, um, the paint smudges on here, which is a little bit, it's also, you know, it's... But overall, we're happy with this. We've got, maybe we're going to add some... reason why I got this as well is because we're going, maybe we're going to add some uh, upgrades. I'm going to change out these plastic bridge pins. And we're just going to... Instead of putting bone in, I was going to put... I've got bone in the bone bridge pins in the jumbo acoustic. We're just going to go for wood bridge pins which match... Um, the colour and that's what we're going to do and probably down the line we may put a bridge, a bone saddle and a um, a bone nut I'm still kind of wondering what the cancer reproductive Is that something to do with wood or something? I don't, I don't know what that's on there. Oh, but if you know, let me know. So that has been the Fender CC. What are we? Fender CC 60 OS. <laughs> So if you're a beginner or if you just want a cheap guitar to play around on, this I highly recommend that. The reviews on this is really good. Um, all good stuff. So thank you for watching this video and I hope this helped. Look out for other videos of me applying the upgrades, etc. on the channel. But this has been this guitar. Not many videos of this, so thank you for watching, guys, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Later.